This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball app makes it easier to keep up to date with the transfer news, scores and stats in one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description below. Right, hi everyone. So, Manchester United have beat us 2-0 at St. James' Park last night. We're going to take a look at the goals which were conceded. We'll also have a look at that John Joe Shelby incident. And we'll hear from Chris from Australia. Right then, as you know, or some of you might not know, we're running a competition this January. Anybody who purchases our 4 99 branded Newcastle fans TV t-shirt or... Any of our classic NUFC in partnership with Retro, you'll be entered in the draw in winning this, which I'm lovely modelling. Uh, I don't think I'll ever make a modelling career, but never mind. Eh? Let's take a look at the goals then. So, right, the first one, the free kick. Now, Rashford has been hitting these free kicks for, for a good 6 to 12 months. And as he steps over it, uh, you can easily blame Dubravka. Look, we know that it's Dubravka's, it's his mistake. We know that already. But... It's actually Isaac Hayden who's actually tracking Roma Lukaku, who is literally just come on the pitch. So when Rashford starts to hit this and it starts to dip, Isaac Hayden, his awareness is shocking. He just allows Lukaku to run past him. He literally passes him on to say, no, Jamal, you can have him. Dubravka fumbles it. Look, it's Dubravka's fault. He's been brilliant for us, but he was absolutely woeful. He should do a lot better. He knows this. We know that. He fumbles it. Because Hayden's passed it on to Lassell to try and pick up Lukaku. Lukaku's obviously ran free, like good strikers do. Prod to him, 1 0 Manchester United. Okay, second goal. In. So Isaac Hayden is in possession, not for much longer. He loses the ball in a crucial area because we've got so many bodies forward. He loses it. Manchester United are on the counter attack and they hurt us. They start running towards the Newcastle goal. Kennedy realises that there's a situation with his runner because John Drew Yedlin was injured at this point, but I think he was still on the pitch. I think he was further up the pitch. As the player develops, Kennedy's running with his man, rightly so, but then he just switches off. I don't know if Fabian Shea, as the ball starts to move into the centre or towards the penalty box, Fabian Shea should probably be well pointing because he's, he's a lead at the back. He should be pointing to Kennedy, get away and go back to your man, Rashford, because he's left them free. The ball's then played to Rashford, who finds himself in space. He, he finishes Manchester United go 2 0 up, and it's two simple mistakes by firstly, you would say the first goal to Bravka, secondly, probably Hayden, and maybe a bit of communication at the back for the second goal as well. But very disappointing. Let's take a look at the red card, where it well, should have been a red card for John Joe Shelby. I think we're really lucky. Now, he's got history of Andre Mauna. Mauna set him off against Spurs last year, if you remember, on the opening day for trodden on Deli Alley. It's a record. I don't know how he's got away with it. And he's seen it at Marina because he's given it as a free kick. Pogba obviously wasn't very happy. You know, he's, he's coming over and Shelby and saying, how are what you doing and all of this. But it's a clear record and it's absolutely stupid by Shelby because if that was a red card, that would mean he misses three games. And we cannot afford to lose any more injuries in suspensions because the squad is so depleted at the moment. We've got Isaac Hayden once away. You know what I mean? So stupid. Absolutely stupid from Shelby. He said... That he cut it out with his game. It's still there. It's still there. Do you trust him? Don't know. Let's get over to Chris for his thoughts on the game. Mate, if we had one ounce of composure and quality, we could have won that game. I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, training every all week and you've got no touch. Atsu losing his touch. Ball bobbling around, can't get across into the box, can't beat a man with a cross. I mean, when your luck's down, I don't know if it's luck, it's just, I don't know, it's just the mood. You know, the mood transfers onto the player's performance, I think. Um, we were in that game for long stretches of time, had plenty of opportunity, and I don't go with this line of, oh, it's Man United, we're not going to get anything. Oh, Cardiff's coming next week, yeah, we'll get three points. It's going to be, you know, Cardiff's the, the, uh, a massive six-pointer. We were in that game. We had chances. We could have been one nil up, two nil up. You know, they look shocking. I said previous to this that all the other results were papering over the cracks, and they were. They, they weren't. You know, had a bit of quality where they're in a play up in the final, final third at times. But generally, we were second half. The last two thirds of that second half. They couldn't get past the halfway line. We were in the ascendancy. We had dominating the possession. Mate, if, if Atsu could dribble and place a pass or Kennedy could beat a man with his cross or, you know, we're putting balls forward down the flank and then checking back and going backwards. I can't understand. You know what I mean? This is, 
we will sleepwalk towards relegation, you know, in this playing this way. Uh, we might survive by the seat of our pants, but I'm just disappointed that because we were so close to getting something out of the game, a bit more application, a bit more skill, a bit more just head think. You see Hatsu, he's running around like a headless chicken, he's looking up. He's got skill, but he doesn't use it. There's no footballing intelligence in this team. There's a lot of graft, but it's pretty low football IQ as far as composure and, and, and picking the right pass at the right time and the results are showing. So, Right, then let us know what you think of Chris's thoughts. Let us know what you think of the goals, the Shelby situation as well. We're going to be switching the attention on to Blackburn. We've already done the preview for that. That'll be out uh, tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that as well. And yeah, so get yourselves entered in that competition. See you. Goodbye.